excuse me. Do you know where I can find? Oh. Hello. Hello. I uh, lost my train of thought. Lo lost. I'm lost. I'm looking for a field. A field? Yes. Have you seen one? What is it? A specific field? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. hope so. Well, actually, I'm looking for a chest. A chest? Yes, like a treasure chest. Well, more like a Tupperware box with treasure written on it. I'm not making much sense, am I? No. <laughs> Rewind. I'm on a treasure hunt. My brother, whose turn it was to hide the treasure, has naturally forgotten where he put it. And he pointed me off in this direction and told me to look for a field. So here I am, babbling. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't suppose you would have... Nothing. No. Well, there we are then. Sorry, I could be more help. Not at all. Have a good day. I'm looking for a rabbit named Keith. Keith, <laughs> that's lovely. I know. Keith, this is my rabbit. Keith. <laughs> it's not the best, is it really? What are you talking about? It's a stroke of genius. Right, I've got half an hour until my shift starts. Before I go, I must insist that you stop organising these chance meetings, or meet cute, as it were. Admit that you're head over heels in love with me, and I may, may consider taking you out for dinner or a drink. <laughs> and I'm the one organising these meetings, am I? Oh, yes. It's perfectly understandable. I am known for my charm and dazzling wit. <laughs> it's perfectly natural for you to be smitten. Smitten? Yes. I've seen the signs before. And you'll consider taking me out for dinner? How very gracious of you. I know. Such a kind and generous gentleman. Well, it's my gift for you. Who said chivalry was dead? You clearly hasn't met me yet. I suppose if I'm the one organising these meetings, I suppose the flowers were meant for someone else. Mm. You know about the flowers, then? Well, I... Uh... You've been watching, no. haven't you? Oh. Yes, yes! The truth comes out now. I well, happened well. to stumble across someone else out walking. See? Smitten. Loves it. I blame myself, really. Now I'm just going to have to take you out for pity. Pity? You know those flowers were for you. Why didn't you take them? Because I can't accept them. I'm sorry, Adam, I can't go to dinner with you. Have you got a boyfriend? No. Really? Yes. Can he do this? I'm leaving at the end of summer. When the season changes, I'll be gone. Well, we'd better get started then. Briar, mm -hmm. one drink. I can't leave the forest. The mystery? I'm being serious. Fine. Fine. You'll get bored of coming up here. When the season changes, I'll still have to leave. I don't care. One drink. There aren't many taverns in the woods. One drink. <sighs> See, I knew you'd succumb to my charm. It's only a matter of time. I'll meet you at the fort at seven. No points 
spoiling this moment with words. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Voila! Oh my! I know. I am so romantic and wonderful. You said one drink, not dinner. I may have got a wee bit carried away. A wee bit? <laughs> there are scented candles. True. Care for a seat? <sighs> not do. So what delicacy are we sampling then? Well, well, I was wondering what kind of food you might like. I thought pasta. You look like a pasta kind of girl. And then I was wondering, do you even eat meat or not, you know, living in the woods and that? And I thought, do you even like pasta? Then it wouldn't matter if it had meat in it, because you wouldn't eat it on account of the pasta. <laughs> so I thought, soup? For what time? I thought about it long and hard, had no rest for pondering. And then I had a stroke of the genius variety. And... Um... Behold! I thought, everyone loves ice cream, so a Cornetto. And frankly, if you don't like ice cream, we've got to stop spending time together outside of your allotted hours visiting from the mental hospital. <laughs> I've never had one. What? A cornetto? No, ice cream. Leave. Now. What do you mean you've never had one? Do you live in a cave? Well, you live in a wood. Well, today is your lucky day. <laughs> What's wrong? I need to leave. Why didn't you tell me? I only just found out. You can't go far. I can come visit you. I can, we can talk. No, and... you can't. Why? No. I've been asking about this all summer and all I get is no. Don't. Not now. Later. Yeah, tell me what's wrong. Oh, please. This summer has been amazing. The best. Why are you talking like this? Briar Bell, speak to me! Just dance with me and when the song ends, just kiss me and say goodbye. I won't say it. I wish I could stay here in the forest with you. Why can't you? Fine. No. If you don't want to talk to me, fine. Leave. I'll stay here. Look. Listen, I'll stay until the sun rises. And you can leave and not tell me why or where. I won't come looking for you. I won't come for you. But you can stay here with me and watch the sunrise and we can talk this through. I love you, Raya Bell. Just give me a chance to understand. I love you. Goodbye.
Summer, I thought you'd forgotten about me. Hello, old friend. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. What's happened? Oh, you know, all the story in the book. I'm sorry. Is there a letter for me? Where's Springs? Doesn't he have anything to pass over? No. No, he... he didn't make it. Oh, God. Blue sunrise. What's wrong? You love him. He's waiting for me. Go! It's best he forgets. No, it's too late for that. He won't forget you. No one could. How do I explain? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You sure? Absolutely. Come on, let's go. We're nearly there. That's for the best. 